What's up guys, Mike the AK Phony. Welcome to the side of my house. It's amazing, right? We're outside. I, I, I wanted to do a vlog somewhere a little bit different and I have good reason. One, because when you're outside, uh, there's no room echo. I can talk as loud as I want, but I won't because my neighbors probably think I'm weird talking to the AC unit, right? Probably like, why is that guy outside talking to his AC? Because sometimes when the AC's not doing what it's supposed to do, you want to talk to it and kind of like love it and let it know that you still care and to go ahead and start doing your thing. I should cover this thing up because there's like shit getting all over it. Now that I'm here, see, like, this is the part, when you, when you start living at a house, you start looking at things like, damn, I have to do that, and then that is a mess, I have to clean that. What am I talking about? This is a bird right now, can you guys hear that? It's amazing. It's not that amazing. So, today I want to talk about, uh, well, my previous vlogs, discussing things like uh, what it's like to make money on YouTube. Uh, I have, over the course of time, before I signed to Polaris, uh, previously, you know, artist formerly known as The Game Station, uh, I made a significant amount of money on YouTube alone. I made videos explaining to you guys uh, basically what I did to do that. This is a, basically a TLDR version of like my past year and a half. Everything was so good. I, mean, I was making money, the holidays came, it was like having extra money on top of everything because the CPMs are great during the holidays. Uh, and then I said poop during an episode of Don't Starve and they, uh, this guy Italia, uh, which is basically Comcast in Italy or something, there's satellite communication or something, they, they apparently own the rights to poop and uh, see if it was the Germans, I'd understand. But they, they content ID'd my, my, uh, my video and I couldn't monetize it. And so that really kind of set this downward spiral of my channel, it really kind of messed things up mid-year. You guys probably remember that. It was a huge lull, an entire, uh, an entire month where I was basically not doing anything because not only did that happen, but also there was some guy out there who thought that he owned the rights to uh, Comedy Night Live, like the phrase, not like the game, the game that we played for a while on Xbox, right? Which thank God I only made two videos for but he thought he owned the name and that nobody else could use it. Whatever he thinks he owns, that's fine. I'm not here to argue with him. The biggest dickhead in this whole thing is YouTube's copyright policies where basically they will shut you down. If I had three videos, I would have had three strikes and the video, my, whole, my whole channel would have been gone. I wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't be able to tell you guys what's going on because there's way more of you guys here on YouTube than there is follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Throughout this entire time, and I mentioned this, my first how to make money on YouTube video I talk extensively about monetizing videos, okay? Obviously monetizing videos is a, is a pretty goddamn key component of making money on YouTube, right? I think we'll all agree with that. The process, and those of you guys who try this, you guys all know, you upload a video, if you try to monetize while it's uploading, sometimes it kicks it into review. If it kicks it into review, you know that it's not gonna get monetized. It's gonna sit there for 24 hours, somewhere around like three o'clock in the morning the next day, you're gonna get an email that says, you do not own the rights to this video. If you want to provide right that you, uh, proof that you own it, please feel free to respond, and we'll get back to you in 60 days. Does not work. The other, the other thing is like you upload it with like a generic name or something, right? like untitled.mp4 or something, and then after it's monetized, then you go back and you change this, change the tag, you change the description, and you change the upload thumbnail, and that's when you actually dress up the video uh, and get it, get it ready to present to your your subscribers that process is just a huge pain in the ass because it, it cuts into your it's a big chunk of the amount of time that you spend doing this kind of content doing this kind of work so wouldn't it be nice if you could just wake up and a, and a game just came out you're like, and it's like this popular game and you're like oh crap everyone's gonna want to play this game you're like starbound right i got access to starbound i'm gonna go play that and i'll put a video out i'm gonna be one of the first ones because timing is very very important Boom, record it, you cut it, MP4, you upload it. Let's just say you don't have issue with monetization. You wait for it to finish up, and then once it's done processing, then you go click monetize, you cross your fingers, and you go back to your video page, hit refresh a couple times, and it changes from a question mark to a dollar sign, and you're like, whew, now I could go ahead and add my thumbnail, add my tags, add all that stuff, which you probably had prepared before, but you didn't want to put it in just yet because you, know, you wanted to wait for it to upload. It'd be nice if you could just take all that stuff and just be done with it, by the time you click save, you know, publish, and everything will be beautiful, and that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. Like, this is just one of the, one of the many, many benefits that, that you get when you sign with, with somebody like, for example, like RPM or TGS, or whoever you decide to go with, right? Polaris, TGS. <laughs> See, I was only with it for like a month before they changed to Polaris, but some I'm all like, yeah, I sometimes call it TGS because I'm old school like that. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me. On top of just taking your, your, your workflow and just streamlining it by being able to you know, package everything up at once and uploading and being done, uh, you also have the benefit, and this is like the biggest one. This one really applies to me more than anybody else because I've already been there. Right now, I manage, uh, I work for Zam. I manage all of the YouTube channels. We have a show called League Trends. Probably familiar with it, Lindsay. Right? What she does is she breaks on the stats, picks wins, bans for League of Legends. Uh, it gets tons of views, tons and tons of views. It's probably because of Lindsay. 
and because of vlogging, of course. One of the videos, she's using B-roll from a, from a tournament, demonstrating an individual champion's performance. Anyways, they, they, they caught the ID matched it. And so I'm like, oh, that's really weird because you know, there's a little bit of fair use here. We are indeed uh, giving a breakdown, a statistical breakdown um, of the footage being played, covered in fair use. We also left all of the branding and everything intact, like we didn't like go and like maliciously remove it. But we are giving actual feedback and statistical just an analysis of the footage being shown. That's that's what the whole show is, it's called League Trends, it's all stats. So they said, oh yeah, it's ours. Oh, it's all automated, of course. And so I responded. I believe that this claim was made in error, right? Along with a couple other things uh, about how the footage actually belongs to, of course, uh, Riot, League of Legends, of course. They sent it back again and said, yeah, no, we do. Because that channel is not signed to anybody, I have to either risk fighting them or I have to go forward with like taking them to court or something ridiculous or try to fight them again. And if, and if you know, if they kick it back and say, you know what, this is a copyright strike, then that channel is fucked. I have no protection on that channel, zero protection. Some of you guys are very familiar with this because it's happened to you. That is the extra level of protection that you're gonna get from, uh, from signing with Maker. What they can do, they're not gonna like immediately block all content ID matches, but if you legit own that stuff or you legit have the rights and you can prove that, you, uh, that you're allowed to use that stuff, uh, then they will actually go to bat for you. You submit your first stuff, your, your first submission saying, hey, no, you don't own it, I believe this was made in error. And then, if they kick back and say, no, go fuck yourself, we are actually gonna own this thing, there's nothing you can do about it, like that. If they do that to you, that's when you can send it over to these guys, then they will be able to take it up to the next level. The nice thing about them being able to do it is that, you don't have to do it. They obviously have way more connections than you. They're the ones working directly with Google. They are big enough to be able to say, hey, hey, dear Google, hey guys, yo, hey, it was nice, thanks for inviting me to the barbecue, blah, 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 do me a favor, look into this for me, click, right, done. They would get an actual response. It may take a while because Google, but they could actually help you with that and get this thing resolved. Whereas if you go after them, then what'll happen? They could probably just say, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? You're just a dude that makes videos on the internet. There's like a billion of you. I'll shut you down. You can do nothing you can do about it. And that's the way YouTube's copyright system works. So if you have somebody that can give you the extra layer of protection that's big enough to punk them back, because that's what you want, you want somebody big to go over there and kind of swell up on them and say, hey, that's, that's so, so invaluable, especially if you have the, you run the risk of potentially losing your channel. <sighs> the biggest question I have with uh, people who are trying to sign up is like, well, I don't know if my channel's big enough or people will try to pitch their channels that they've not even started yet, which does not work. Start a channel, first off. Uh, if you're commenting here, you probably already have a channel or you have a Google Plus account. Uh, try to shoot for somewhere between 10 to 20K and growing, right? So if you have a subscriber base that's fresh and new and, you're, and then you're getting more and more and more, then try to go for it. Everything's reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. Okay, I asked, I asked this. I was like, well, what if these guys are like popular somewhere else? He's like, well, that's why they review things on a case-by-case -case basis. They will actually go and look and say, oh, hey, this guy over here, is Lindsay Sterling. It's ruined a whole lot of mental images there. She wants to start a channel over here where she does video games. There you go, that kind of applies to this, doesn't it? They're gonna look at this one that's just started, probably has like nobody following, no views in the videos, because it just got started. And they're gonna say, that is Lindsay Sterling. This dude over here. We're gonna go ahead and get them signed. So, I'm just kidding, she's actually pretty attractive female. You know? But, you're gonna get them signed over here on this side, and then boom. Again, the benefits of being signed, the protection, knowing that you don't have to, from, from bundling everything up, with your thumbnail, your tags, everything, having all that done, right when you click on upload, not when you click on, after you, you wait for the green dollar sign, having that stuff ready to go, to the extra layer of protection if somebody wants to try to, uh, try to content, whether it be maliciously, or whether it be stupidly, go and try to uh, claim content that does not belong to them, uh, well, guess what? You have you have that extra layer of protection, and it's super super nice. I can't tell you the amount of stress. Once I yeah, do they take a cut of what you make? Yes, of course they do. Of course they take a cut. That's that's the whole point of being signed at MCN. You're gonna get you're gonna lose a little bit of money. What's funny is because my channel continues growing, uh, the amount of money that I lost was like non-existent because my channel continues to grow because I continue to put out content, and I so I I've already within the first month the first check I got was. Right about, I want to say it was like exactly the same as the previous month because my channel was growing during that period. That's the whole thing with, with when you sign with these guys. You want to make sure your channel's growing, they're going to see that, they're going to sign you, and then boom, you get in there, you start making videos, and whatever amount they make, and especially if you're new, if you're new and you're making like a hundred bucks, are you really going to miss out on that money? 
right? Versus everything else, probably not. Nothing bad happens. Like that's the, that's the cool thing, nothing bad happened. I was worried, like when I went to my account for the first time and it said, the game station wants to take control of this channel or whatever, it wants you to sign your analytics over this channel. And I was all like, I was really hesitant. I'd already like signed the paperwork and everything. I was really hesitant. And then I did, and then nothing happened. Like it was, it wasn't like I clicked it and the page fell off onto the, onto the keyboard or something like that. Like it just, everything was the, the same. I just kept on making videos and I kept on making money and everything was great. Here, my, my neighbor is outside, so he's probably wondering once again why am I talking to the AC units. I love you, AC units. You're not being, I gotta cover them up. See, once again, you live in a house, everything needs to be fixed, everything needs to be worked out. I'm gonna go work on some stuff. But thanks for watching. See you later. This, of course, is a helicopter flying overhead. It's perfect timing for that. Perfect. It's a good check, though. Come here. And a bird. I am actually outside. I'm excited. I'm outside. I'm putting a vlog outside of the hill. No birds, no helicopters, just the thing running back there. You guys can probably hear, and that's it. Cool. All right.